So today we are going to discuss about the introduction to electrical circuit analysis. So this course is taken by the second year first semester electrical and electronics engineering students. So today we will take the brief introduction about this electrical circuit analysis syllabus. So network theorems, the first chapter. So prerequisites of this course is principle of electrical and electronics engineering, which we already studied in the one two semester. So in that semester, we will deal with the basics of and principles of electrical engineering. So in this chapter or this course, we are going to deal with the electrical circuit analysis in depth, how this electrical circuit we are going to analyze. So in this one, total five chapters are there. And first chapter is deal with the network theorems and resonance. So in the first year, you already seen the some basic theorems like superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem. So here we are going to deal with the advance of those theorems and the applications of those theorems we will see. So basically we are going to see in this chapter network theorems, maximum power transfer theorem, intelligence theorem and compensation theorem, Milliman's theorem and reciprocity theorem and problems on dependent sources AC and DC. So maximum power transfer theorem is the application of Thevenin's theorem. So we will uh, use the Thevenin's theorem, intelligence theorem and compensation theorem, Milliman's theorem and reciprocity theorem. So in separately in the circuit to reduce the circuit into the easy way. And then in this chapter, we are also going to see the duality. So circuits which have the dual properties, we are going to see what is the concept of duality and dual networks. And then we will follow the resonance. This is the special case of the combination of RLC parameters, which are already known about the parameters. So these parameters either in series way and parallel way, they will connect and they will go to the special case of resonance. So in that resonance, in parallel resonance and series resonance, we are going to see what is the quality factor bandwidth and off frequencies and uh, along with some numerical problems. Then we will continue with the second chapter transients. So up to now whatever the by theorems or network reduction techniques we seen how the circuit will act at a steady state. So if sudden changes in happen in the circuit what it is going to happen that is explained by the transients. So in that particular moment when sudden change is there how this circuit will act. So in this one first we will see the, the transient in the basic elements like RLC circuits and we will formulate the integral and differential equations of this RLC circuits in the transients and then we will see the Laplace transforms and we will follow the initial conditions how in the initial conditions it is behave then transient response of combination of these elements. So RL combination, RC combination and RLC combination in a series and either uh, parallel. So series parallel networks also we will see and how internally energy it is changing and all those things we will observe in this one. So along with this one, this all circuit, how they will respond to basic uh, uh, inputs so like impulse input, step input, ramp input and exponential input and along with one, one sinusoidal excitations also. How these are acting in a transient manner. So in the third chapter, we will deal with the polyphase circuits and the coupled circuits. So up to now we seen only the single phase circuits how they are acting. So in this chapter we are going to see how the more than one phase. So three phase circuits mainly we are concentrating in this chapter. So in the polyphase circuits we will see how many types of circuits are there and then we will analyze the balanced three phase circuits and the unbalanced three phase circuits. How they will behave, what is the uh, nature of these circuits. Then we will go with the star delta connection. So this three phase, so three phase uh, connections will happen either in star wave or delta wave or star delta wave, we will observe the, these connections of this uh, three phase circuits. So then we will see the measurement of this three phase power. So in this three phase power, how we will measure the uh, power in the balanced circuit and the unbalanced circuit also, we will observe it. So balanced loads and unbalanced loads, how we will find out the power of that circuits, we will see. Then we will go with the coupled circuits. Coupled circuit, in first we will observe. What is the self-inductance? What is the concept of self-inductance? What is the concept of mutual inductance? Then after that, we will see the dot convention of this mutual inductance. Then we will follow the coefficient of coupling and analysis of circuits with this mutual inductance. So then fourth chapter, we are going to deal with the two port networks. So up to now, whatever the networks we have seen, so we are reducing the networks and we are analyzing the networks and theorems. But these two port networks will help us to see the complete networks in two ways. So two ports will be available. So in this one, in two port networks, we'll see first the parameters, that is open circuit impedance parameters, short circuit admittance parameters, and then also we'll see the transmission parameters and hybrid parameters. So these are the simply known as Z parameters. These are 
Y parameters and transmission parameters are A, B, C, D parameters and hybrid parameters are H parameters. So we will see mainly these four parameters and the relationship of these parameters. What is the relation between Z parameters and Y parameters and A, B, C, D parameters and H parameters and Z parameters with A, B, C, D parameters, Z parameters with H parameter. So each parameters, what is the relation and we will see. Then we will also see the connection of the circuit. Suppose two port networks are there. If they connected in series, what will happen to these parameters? And parallelly they connected and cascaded way they connected, how they will behave. So that connections also we will see in these networks. Then we will see what is the impedance function and also admittance functions. And the fifth chapter, we are going to deal with the filters and the topology. So first coming to the filters. So in these filters, we will see the four filters mainly. That is classification, uh, we will see low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and band elimination filter. So these are the four filters mainly we will see that how they are acting and uh, how these filters will behave in the network topology. So up to now we read about the network. So how we will represent the network. So in the network, some graph, how we will draw the graph and what is the tree. What is the meaning of uh, incident uh, uh, cord, cut set and all these things we will observe it. These are the topology of the network topology. When we will draw in that one, what is the graph means? What is the trees? How many trees are available? Cord, cut set. These things we will see. Then from that graph theory and we will see the incident ma matrix, circuit matrix and cut set matrix. And we will deal with this network topology. So with this one, uh, our syllabus will complete for uh, electrical circuit uh, analysis. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.